I was completely oblivious to the fact that Muslims were not supposed to date. I just thought, we're a religious community. I know that we have to practice abstinence, but what's wrong with dating? I'm hanging out, going, you know, I just knew that we had to practice abstinence. So I would actually take my girlfriend to the masjid with me for Juma. Just, just wait right here, I'm coming right back. Right? Just in the sitting in the the lobby of the masjid, right? Just wait in the veranda, just wait right here. Right? I would introduce my girlfriend to brothers. Salam alaikum. This is to honey, my girlfriend, man. You know, you know. And brothers would be like very uncomfortable, but I think they would just be shocked, like. Is he crazy or, you know, I, and I was really just completely oblivious, you know. And one day I was in the mall and there was a brother at his kiosk. And um, previously I had gone by his kiosk and introduced him to my girlfriend. And I asked him what he was reading. And he said, I'm reading a book. On al amru bil ma'aruf wa nahyu an al munkar. I'm reading a book on enjoining good and forbidding evil. First off, I had never heard the word enjoin before. I don't think, you know, there are certain English words that as soon as you hear them, you know the person is Muslim. I've never heard a non Muslim English speaker say enjoin. I've never heard that before. I'm just enjoining Samaric. I've never, you know. I'm reading a book on enjoining the good and forbidding evil. And I said, what does that mean? He said, well, if someone is doing something uh, wrong, you should encourage them to do right. I said, like, give me an example. I said, give me an example. He said, like, if there was a young brother that was spending time with a young lady in a way that I thought was potentially detrimental for his spiritual development, this book is um, offering lessons about how I should approach that brother. And I said, well, how would you approach him? <laughs> how would you approach him? Right? And he said, well, you know, it's, it's, it's not a one-size-fits-all you know, kind of thing. I mean, the main message of the book is that I should think very carefully before I, before I approach him. And then he moved to the next topic. And that was all that he said. And I sat there thinking, hmm. I wonder if there's something wrong with what I'm doing. And so I inquired of people and they told me, yes, this relationship that you have is completely inappropriate. And just to be Muslim, I called my girlfriend the same night and told her, we can't keep doing this. You want to get married? <laughs> she said, you're 16 years old, you live with your mother, of course we're not getting married. Okay, I just thought I would throw that out there because <laughs> that's what brothers told me, you know, that we would have to be married. And, and that was just the end of that. Never talked to her again. Never, I've never, never, never seen her after that. Just to practice Islam. 